Welcome back. So up until now we have discussed uh, gravitational fields and electric fields and uh, hopefully at this point you understand how those fields work. Uh, next we want to understand magnetic fields. So uh, when we looked at other fields, a uh, gravitational field, uh, it was the possibility of a uh, force that would be felt by a mass if it was put at a spot. In an electric field, it was the uh, possibility of the force that a charged particle would feel if it was placed at that spot. And so a magnetic field is the possibility of the force that a magnetic material would feel if it was placed at that point. So probably the first example of uh, magnetism uh, that we want to talk about is that the Earth is magnetic. The Earth generates a magnetic field, and here you see the Earth's magnetic field uh, deflecting charged particles that are ejected by the Sun, and they crash into the North and South Pole, so uh, these are called the uh, Northern Lights in the North, or the Aurora. So uh, historically, uh, the use of magnets for navigation was uh, very significant for trade and exploration, and uh, our unit for a magnetic field here is the Tesla, and so that's named after Nikolai Tesla. So to uh, visualize a magnetic field, uh, just like we did with electric fields, we draw magnetic field lines. The magnetic field is labeled with the letter B, and the magnetic field is a vector. The magnetic field lines come out of the north magnetic pole and towards the south magnetic pole of a magnet. Uh, magnetic field lines tell us the direction that a magnet would face if we placed a magnet at that spot. So notice, this is a little different than an electric field. An electric field would tell you the direction that the force will point, but in the magnetic field tells you the direction that the magnet will want to face. So if you uh, put a magnetic compass on each spot, it would tell you which way the uh, north pole of a compass would face. So that means that the magnetic field does not just tell you a, uh, a direction, but it tells you what the alignment would be. That alignment means that the north magnetic pole will uh, face in the direction of the magnetic field, and the south magnetic pole will point in the opposite direction. That means that the magnet has an orientation. If you want to define an orientation, you will need more than one point. That means to define the orientation, you need two points, uh, so what we call the north and south magnetic pole. In an electric field, the vector was the force, but in a magnetic field, it is the direction that the compass points. That means you need both a north and a south pole. In magnets, you uh, can't have a uh, monopole, so a north pole just uh, hanging out without a south pole, because if you put a monopole in a magnetic field, well, it wouldn't have a direction to point, so it wouldn't have any way of responding. It's not like electric fields where you could have a positive charge or a negative charge by itself. That's perfectly fine, uh, but you need an orientation with a magnet, so you need both a north and a south pole. The magnetic field lines point out of the north magnetic pole of a magnet, and they point towards the south magnetic pole of a magnet. That means the south magnetic pole of a one magnet will point towards the north magnetic pole of the other. A, a north pole will be repelled by another north pole, and a south pole will re be repelled by another south pole. So we have another example of opposites attracting and uh, likes repelling. One thing that is uh, worth mentioning is that the north pole of a compass points towards the uh, north pole of Earth. So that means the north geographic pole of the Earth is the south magnetic pole, and the south geographic pole is the north magnetic pole of the Earth. The main point of bringing this up is to highlight the fact that the north pole of a magnet points towards the south pole of another magnet, so it should bother you a bit when you start thinking about how a compass works. Either the north end of a magnet needs to be the south magnetic pole, or the north geographic pole needs to be the south magnetic pole. So yeah, it's the second one. The north geographic pole is actually the south magnetic pole. So uh, we can visualize a magnetic field by uh, sprinkling a bit of iron filings next to a magnet. The, uh, notice here that the uh, closer the lines are together, uh, that means that we have a stronger magnetic field. So that results in the uh, magnetic uh, force being strongest near the magnetic poles and being uh, weaker the further away you are from the poles. Uh, this can be visualized because iron can become magnetic, uh, so uh, the filings like to align with the magnetic field. All right, so you have a, qu a few questions to answer, and next we're going to discuss what makes a particular uh, material magnetic. Good luck.